Today I want to show you guys a few things that you can do to speed up your FL Studio or whatever DAW you're working on. Not all of these will work across DAWs, but I'm going to show you what I use on a regular basis that helps speed up my software here. So first things first, let's uh, close all windows here. We go to View, Close All Windows. That's just going to close all the plugins that are currently open. Second, let's go to Macros, Tools, Macros. We're going to want to go to Purge Audio purge unused audio clips now this is just going to delete any audio clips like say this loop technically we are using that since it's muted but if there was one in the background it would just delete that so that's done next we're going to go to tools macros select unused channels now this will select any unused channels in your patterns that are not being used um, so like the default kick, default snare, I'll show you here. So we go back to channel rack, and you can see it's selected there. Next, you're just going to want to do function, alt, delete. Hit OK. That's going to clean up your project right there. So following that, we're going to go to back to tools, macros. You can hit switch smart disable for all plugins. And this will basically, when a plugin's not being active, when it's not being used, it'll it'll be shut down uh, uh, for the time being. That's all I can really think of. It's about four or five things, but oh, one more actually. Here's one more. You go to Option, Audio Settings, check your buffer length. You want your buffer length to be as long as possible uh, if you're trying to save your CPU some power. If you're recording and you want less latency, then you want to lower the buffer size there. But I like to keep it as high as possible, save my computer. And that's it. So if you guys learned something about saving your computer, um, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.